The dream of home ownership is slipping away for many young people. Each year, the prices of homes soar, yet it seems impossible for most to afford them. This raises a critical question. If buying a house is increasingly out of reach, why do prices continue to climb? The notion of saving for a 20% down payment seems like a distant fantasy. With rents skyrocketing unexpectedly and incomes stagnating, securing a family home, a cornerstone of financial stability, becomes challenging. Owning a home, especially with a 30-year mortgage, is often cheaper monthly than renting in numerous cities. Home ownership not only provides a place to live, but also allows you to build equity in a property that can eventually become entirely yours. This is common knowledge, but for the 75% of my viewers who don't own a home, the barrier is usually financial feasibility a Redfin report revealed a startling decline in housing affordability. Only 21% of houses sold in 2022 were within reach for the average buyer, a sharp drop from 60% in 2021. This means in just a year, the majority of reasonably priced homes became unaffordable. The study deduced that housing affordability is at an all-time low, but what does this mean for the future? If people can afford homes, Logic suggests prices should stop rising, right? Well, not exactly. I'm not here to predict a housing market crash, but I do want to discuss three reasons why the situation might worsen before improving. The first point to understand is that homes don't have to be affordable for the majority to keep being sold. If this sounds illogical, remember, there's a whole industry dedicated to making this a reality. You're not saving for the full price of a house. You're saving for a down payment, even as housing costs and wages become increasingly misaligned. The gap between housing costs and actual house prices is widening. While a 20% down payment increases at a slower pace, it's still possible for buyers to enter the market. Consider this. In 2020, the average American home sold for $230,000. Fast forward to early 2023 and this average price skyrocketed to $330,000, a staggering increase of $100,000 in just under three years, according to Zillow. Forbes states that the typical American earns around $59,000 before taxes. Average homes value increase matches the average income, yet most most people save only for the down payment. This means that for a single income household, a 70% savings rate effectively becomes 14% or 7% for a dual income household with similar earnings. This is a significant commitment, especially considering that 57% of Americans struggle with an unexpected $1,000 expense. While 14% of take home pay is more achievable than 70%, it's just enough to keep pace with rising house prices, not actually making home ownership more attainable. Banks and lenders keenly aware of these challenges have adjusted their requirements. A National Association of Realtors report found that the average down payment for first-time buyers is just 7% and 17% for repeat buyers. With lower down payment requirements, house prices can soar far beyond average incomes without entirely shutting out buyers. A modest 10% savings rate over three years from an average salary could meet the 7% down payment for an average priced home. This demands more discipline than most, but isn't unattainable with some sacrifices. For those who find even this challenging, Zillow has introduced a trial for a 1% down payment loan. Here's how it works. The buyer pays 1% down and Zillow contributes an additional 2% at closing as a grant, which doesn't need to be repaid. Thus, while house values continue to outpace incomes, the barrier to entry is simultaneously lowering. However, the challenge doesn't end with the down payment. If a 20% down payment is unfeasible, Feasible. How realistic is it to keep up with mortgage payments on a higher loan amount? This is where understanding the intricacies of finance becomes crucial. The paradox of home prices soaring while fewer people can afford them stems from a lack of sellers in the market. Many homeowners are holding on to their properties, especially those with a 30-year fixed mortgage rate below 3%. This reluctance to sell, coupled with an ongoing demand for housing, keeps the market tight. The National Association of Realtors reports that while 6 million homes were sold in 2021. The figure has now dropped to an annualized rate of just 4 million. This decline in sales occurs despite an increase in the population. If you're finding this info helpful, it would mean the world to us for you to like and subscribe at this time. Homeowners with existing low rate mortgages are hesitant to enter the volatile rental market or take on a new mortgage at a higher rate. This trend contributes to a surge in demand for rental properties, exacerbating the situation by lengthening rental tenures and further limiting supply. Many people, having relocated during the pandemic,
pandemic are reluctant to move again so soon due to the disruption it would cause to their personal and family lives, not to mention the added financial burden of higher interest rates on new home loans. The average homeowner now stays in their property for about 13.2 years. After the rush of home buying in recent years, a significant number of Americans are just beginning to settle into their new homes, delaying any plans to sell. Meanwhile, potential buyers are biding their time, waiting for interest rates to drop. Pew Research has also observed an increase in household size, with more young adults staying or returning to live with their parents to avoid the high costs of independent living, a trend not seen in 160 years. But the market isn't entirely stagnant. There are still three main groups actively participating. First, there are the all-cash buyers, including boomers who bought homes decades ago at much lower prices and are now looking to downsize, benefiting from the current high market values. The second group consists of people relocating interstate, escaping high-cost cities for more affordable living conditions. Finally, there are investors who are less concerned with living in the properties and more focused on the returns, whether through long-term rentals or short-term vacation rentals on platforms like Airbnb. According to Redfin, investment purchases saw a 145% year-on-year growth in 2022, with institutional investors being the fastest growing segment. These investors often pool resources through real estate investment trusts, REITs, which traditionally focused on commercial real estate, but have now pivoted towards residential properties. As a result of unaffordable housing, many are investing in REITs instead of direct property ownership, inadvertently contributing to the affordability crisis. However, the situation is showing signs of change. Recent Redfin reports indicate a slowdown in investor purchases, and some cities are witnessing a halt in institutional buying. Concerns about overvaluation in the real estate market emerged when Blackstone, a private equity firm, had to restrict withdrawals from its $71 billion fund. A potential sell-off of properties could trigger a domino effect, reducing property values across the board. If you're invested in a right, selling your shares to another investor might be a more viable option than waiting for liquidation from the fund's assets. As we navigate these complex real estate waters, it's clear that the market dynamics are unusual. While it seems counterintuitive for home prices to continue rising in an environment where many can't afford them, the reality is shaped by a confluence of factors, from reluctant sellers to the strategic maneuvers of big investors. Despite the current trends, it's essential to remember that markets are inherently cyclical. While prices have been climbing, there's always the possibility of correction or stabilization in the future. This doesn't mean that a sudden market crash is imminent, as some sensationalist influencers might claim, but rather a gradual shift as economic and social factors evolve. Understanding these dynamics is crucial, whether you're a first-time home buyer, a long-term investor, or simply curious about how the real estate market functions. The landscape is ever-changing, and staying informed is key to making sound decisions. And with that, we wrap up today's deep dive into the perplexing world of home affordability and real estate trends. If you found this video insightful, please hit the like button. It really helps the channel. Also, don't forget to share this video with anyone who might benefit from this information. Your support is vital for us to continue creating content that helps demystify complex topics like this one. Lastly, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, even turn on notifications. This way, you won't miss out on any of our future videos where we explore how money works, uncover hidden market dynamics, and provide provide you with the knowledge to navigate these financial waters. Thank you for watching and until next time, keep building your understanding and your wealth.